Well, it started when I bought this farm, and I did not want to turn it into a commercial venture, particularly a subdivision. It's just bothered me that so many of these farms around our part of Southwest Virginia now are subdivisions. And so in browsing in a bookstore uh, at UVA, um, I came across Peter Nelson's book uh, on tree houses, and I started thumbing through the book, and it's just like this light bulb went off. I said, oh my gosh, you know, that would be really great. Our responsibility for the project was to do, take care of the infrastructure, which meant get the well dug, run all the water piping, get the uh, electrical conduit in, get the septic tank and pump uh, set up. The front corner of the building closest to the ground is 17 feet off. The backside high spot is 26 feet off the ground. So it is literally in the tree. Now, as you can see, we had to leave room around the tree for expansion because the tree will grow over the next 25, 30 years. And if you like, come on in. And all the woodworking that you see in here, the floor, walls, trim, window frames, whole nine yards, is all done on site. The heating for the tree house is this gas fireplace. It puts out about 38,000 BTUs, which is more than enough to heat this space. The downstairs area, these two uh, seats slide over and lock in place. This makes a, a double-sized bed. These cabinets were uh, designed by one of the local car uh, craftsmen. If you want to, come on up and we'll take a look upstairs. Well, there is a, a decking, what I call a widow's walk, goes all the way around the treehouse to the outside so that you can greet your guests or just watch the wildlife on the outside. Now, on any given day, you might see um, wild turkeys, deer. Uh, there have been reports of bear in the area. Now, the next thing you'd want to look at is the, the bathroom and the shower. We have a, an odd-shaped shower that is bigger than most people's shower at home. Again, as you can see, we incorporated the, the natural uh, shelf and, and uh, wood. The other major feature that I think is nice is the porch out here, or patio, um, overlook, whatever you want to call it. And they spend about half the time out here with breakfast and dinner and that type of thing. Talking with Rachel, she said that the whole time she was growing up, she wanted a tree house. And never, you know, that never did work out. So when she got older and had the means, she said, I'm going to build a tree house. This, this is Rachel's. This is her baby. Uh, she's somewhat of a dreamer. Uh, about 14 years ago, she dreamed up this idea of building a Southwest Virginia Higher Ed Center. I think people kind of didn't pay that much attention until she went to the legislature and got 10 or 12 million dollars to build it with, and then she put the hard hat on and, and uh, watched it be built. The, the Higher Education Center was established thanks to UVA and its uh, leadership in getting this project off the ground. Uh, we were established in 1992 as a state agency of Virginia and um, we are um, a collaborative higher education institution in a rural area in Abingdon, Virginia. Um, today there are 10 universities that offer degree programs through this facility. Um, UVA is our fiscal agent. Um, although we're a state agency, our money flows from Richmond to UVA, and uh, UVA uh, manages for us our procurement uh, functions, our facility function, and um, they also uh, do our human resources. So that's been really important. They are our strongest partner. Um, there are about 75 different degree programs that are offered here from the bachelor's level through um, the PhD level, and so that's been really great to make that opportunity available to primarily adults that live in this region. I love the quiet uh, solitude of it. Um, it's a place to really be unplugged. Your cell phone doesn't work very well there. and There's no internet, obviously no television. 
Um, but it does have all the electrical amenities that you would need for cooking and um, has a wonderful um, on-demand water heater for shower, um, toilet. So, you know, you have the conveniences of home, but not all of the um, things that make us uh, so compulsive about working all the time. You really have to be unplugged when you're out there.